In this video, I'm going to show you how to obtain the true airspeed given the rectified or calibrated airspeed. And the rectified or calibrated airspeed is simply the indicated airspeed that is corrected for position error and instrument error. So it's a very accurate indicated airspeed. Now, how do we calculate the true airspeed given that these corrections have already been applied to indicated airspeed? Let me first introduce you to the scale. On the outer scale, we have true airspeed. And on the inner scale, which rotates, you can see rectified and calibrated airspeed. I'm going to turn this around so that at least this portion of the CRP5 faces up. And you can have a better look at that. The outer scale is where we read true airspeed and the inner scale is where we read the rectified or calibrated airspeed and you can see that the inner scale actually turns. For this demonstration I've picked some numbers that are easier to show you because they're all located within the same portion of the CRP5. We have our outer scale where we will read the true airspeed, we have an inner scale where we will uh, input or read off the rectified or calibrated airspeed. However, to set up the CRP5, we need to know some information. And the window that we will be using more frequently when using the CRP5 is the pressure altitude in thousands of feet window, which is basically this window over here. So the pressure altitude times thousand feet is inside the window and the corrected outside air temperature is found on the outer scale and the corrected outside air temperature is basically the temperature that's corrected for things like uh, REM rise yeah so for for the uh, rise in temperature due to the speed of the aircraft so correction tables would be found on the aircraft that you can use that to to offset the REM rise in our example let's assume that the aeroplane that we're flying is at 15,000 feet and that the corrected outside air temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius. And we're given a speed of 160 knots. So let's input that into the table. At 15,000 feet, so we would look at pressure altitude and basically look for 15 in the window. Negative 20 would be here. And I'm going to bring negative 20 in line with 15,000 feet. So there you go, I have 15,000 feet and the outside uh, and the corrected outside air temperature is negative 20. For the speed of 160 knots, and that is rectified airspeed or calibrated airspeed, we actually have 200 knots. So 200 knots would be the true airspeed. Calibrated airspeed or rectified airspeed, true airspeed. And we can simply take 200 or 200 knots as our true airspeed because it is less than 300 knots. Whenever we have a resulting true airspeed of below 300 knots, we will just take it as is. If we have a true airspeed of more than 300 knots, then we will apply a compressibility correction. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video.